summer mornings as a child, my mother would rouse me from sleep and carry me to her 1976 Nissan pickup. Early 5 a.m., we'd make the short drive to her work boat. And while the waves lulled me back to sleep in the small cabin, my mom would navigate to her crabbing spot, run her trot lines, and watch the sunrise over Fishing Bay. I'd wake about mid-morning and maybe help call crabs. And when I wasn't calling or complaining, I would read books. There were no iPads back then. And my mom spent a good portion of her profits keeping me in reading materials. She never once said no to buying me a book. If the weather was bad, I'd go to work with my dad. Ridgely, Easton, Cambridge, Berlin, Ocean City, Pocomoke. I got to know the back roads of the shore riding shotgun in his 18-wheeler. I would listen to the radio, including the Paul Harvey show. Remember that? Part historian, part entertainer, part political commentator, and part storyteller, Paul Harvey was my first introduction to mass communications. <laughs> At home, Dad loved watching anything history or news related. And like me, he was a reader. The Daily Banner, National Geographic Magazine, Consumer Reports, and Popular Mechanics. Looking back, I now realize that my parents were my first teachers, probably like many of you in the audience were for the graduates here tonight. My mom was a petite woman in a career that was physically demanding. She taught me that nothing comes easy and to work hard at earning what you want in life. For my dad, a solitary soul, who has driven millions of miles in his life, I learned to love journalism, to question the world around me, and to appreciate a long country ride. <laughs> The work I do is very different from that of my parents. I try every day to work as hard as they did. Most days I failed, Dad. And like them, I strive to teach by example. I love to tell stories in the classroom, just like my old friend Paul Harvey, and I learn from my students every day. To my Honors Vision Seminar students sitting in the audience, Sophia Ali, Matthew Ellingsworth, Jenna Ray Haney, and Kenny Leonard, you inspired my presence at this podium tonight. The nomination process for Distinguished Teaching Chair is a lengthy one, and one that places you in the presence of some amazing colleagues. But I listen to the words I have so often told my students. What are you out except your time? Graduates, I urge you to remember the lessons you have learned here. College isn't all about the assignments and the grades. It's about succeeding in what initially feels impossible. Pushing yourself when you are beyond exhausted. And showing up when that is the last thing you feel like doing. And try to be the GOAT, the greatest of all time, in all that you do. Right, Jordan? <laughs> My sincere gratitude to my good friend and mentor, Professor Jennifer Holly, the Faculty Evaluation and Policy Committee, Interim President Dr. Stuart Bounds, Interim Vice President David Harper, and my colleagues across the college. I feel fortunate to be working in the community that raised me. To my father, Daniel Tolley, and my husband, Sean McGinnis, I am lucky to have you both in my corner. And to my mother, who is here in spirit, I am thankful for all the lessons you taught me and all those books you bought me. Mm -hmm. Graduates, I will leave you with this. Years ago, a student in my Communications 101 class gave out a laminated card for her speech's memorable close. You probably remember those. As often happens, the quote was misattributed to Mark Twain. Its source is a much lesser known author, H. Jackson Brown, who in turn credited his own mother. But no matter who said it, its message resonates. 20 years from now, you will be more disappointed by the things you didn't do than by the ones you did do. This card lives above my desk at home 
And tonight I have attached a copy of that card to every graduate's program here this evening. Keep this card and place it somewhere prominent to remind you of this night, of all the people who have taught you and supported you, and the advice to always use the time you have been given wisely. Thank you again, and congratulations to the class of 2018.